Hey everybody, welcome to Heat My Shorts. I hope you're all doing well today. Um, got a snack review to catch up on here. I've been meaning to review this, I think since Wednesday. I guess that was the day I took off. And then I meant to do it yesterday. I did my morning unboxing. Let's just get right into it actually. From Pop Daddy Pretzels in Michigan, USA. These are hot sauce flavored pretzel sticks. Now, obviously as soon as I see the words hot sauce in red lettering, it catches my eye immediately. I think I got these from um, Fresh Street Co, Fresh Market, I don't even know. There's so many fresh store names in Kamloops now. I think it's it's up in Aberdeen, it's in the mall. I think it's called Fresh Street, or actually it's right there, Fresh Co. I have a bag, a green bag, actually a recyclable bag. Fresh Co. My apology. It's been a... It's been a, a few days. <laughs> it's been an interesting few days, I should say. Um, so, I haven't looked at this bag too much, to be honest with you, so I'm going to have a look at it right now. Hand seasoned in small batches, made with flavors so bold, it's lip smacking, finger licking, goodness and crunch. So bold. Okay, fair enough. Um, these are bold snacks. Made with big heart. Show you the bag here. <laughs> What's she doing? <laughs> um, sniffing that stuff. Pop Daddy, how do we fit so much flavor in one bag? At Pop Daddy, we are all about crave worthy crunch snacks. Sorry, crunchy snacks that pack a punch in the flavor department. So don't shy away from zesty, different, and downright tasty. So be it popcorn or pretzels, you can count on us for snacking, for a snacking experience that seriously satisfies. These are bold snacks made with big heart. Yeah, it says that on the front too, okay. Um, I won't show you the, sorry, I won't read the ingredients, but I'll show them to you right here. You can pause and look at them if you'd like. Maggie's very interested in these. Let's open them up and see what's going on in there. I've never had these before. I'm, I've been quite curious about these for a little while. Let's put those there for now. Okay, so they're smaller than I was expecting. I don't know why. I'm used to some of the bigger ones that are big, thick pretzels, but you can definitely see some seasoning on the ends of those pretzel sticks. Let's see, orange powder on the end of it there. Just a little pretzel sticks. Let's give it a try from Pop Daddy Pretzels. These are their hot sauce flavored pretzel sticks. Heat my shorts. Very tiny kick of heat. And pretzel flavor and an aftertaste taste. After taste. <laughs> I'm tired. Actually, I shouldn't be. I slept for like 12 hours last night. Um, yeah. I can taste that hot sauce. Like a generic table sauce. Not much powder sticking to the fingers, a little bit. Sorry, I'm talking with food in my mouth. That's kind of rude. Have a couple more. I'm a little bit impressed. They have a little bit of a kick to them. It moves my needle. I believe it's cayenne pepper that they use. Yeah, aged cayenne red peppers. Salt and garlic powder. That's what's in the hot sauce that they use, the hot seasoning. Hmm. I think it puts me to a one out of 10, just barely. It's kind of the upper lip and the tip of the tongue sting. Very, very mild. Aww. 
look at her. Habanero level hothead might call this. You might call this a two or three out of ten. Oh, hi, doggy. Um, if you're new to spice, new to eating jalapeno peppers and serranos, and those are spicy to you, and I'm not talking down on you at all. They have a kick to them. Uh, jalapenos actually have a very wide range of heat. But if you're at that level, this could be a five out of ten for you. I don't know. If you eat a good handful of these, it's going to build up. The first one barely, barely moved my needle. But they'll, they'll build. If you keep eating them, they'll keep building. To a point. It's just a cayenne, right? Um, the flavor on these. I'm going to eat two more. Yeah, two. Hmm. I really don't have anything bad to say about it. It's a hot sauce pretzel. It's exactly what it is. The generic hot sauce flavor that you think of that, you know, cayenne pepper and garlic and vinegar flavor on a pretzel. Very nicely balanced. Um, let's give you a number. I'm gonna give this an eight and a half out of 10. No, it's not the most flavorful, flavor blasted thing I've ever eaten, but it's exactly what it claims to be. Absolutely. Lip smacking, finger licking good, hot sauce flavored pretzel. They're, yeah, it's great. Me personally, you know what I'm going to say. I wouldn't mind a little bit more heat. You know, there's all sorts of hot sauces out there. Maybe they should come out with a super hot sauce flavor. That'd be awesome. Put some, you know, ghost pepper, scorpion pepper, reaper pepper, seven pot pepper, or something like that on these. That would be awesome. But it's a mainstream store, store brand, well not store brand, but you know, grocery store snack. I can't knock it for that. This is great. Great w way to introduce people to spicy snacks, for sure. Um, would I recommend them? Absolutely. Definitely. If the sound is intriguing to you, hot sauce flavored pretzels, cayenne pepper pretzels, yeah, I would definitely recommend giving it a try. If you're crushing challenges, they're not going to be hot to you, but it's still a good snack. I, I, I love doing spice challenges, but this is a great snack for me too. I would recommend it, and I would restock it. Um, and I had already pre-decided that we are going to add some tincture to this. Um, I honestly thought they were going to be even more mellow than this. I thought they were not even going to move my needle. Maybe get a little bit of vinegar flavor and a little bit of like bell pepper flavor. No, these are great. These are good. Um, but I'm still going to add some tincture to them. I could use a good burn. So, to be honest, yeah, I thought these were going to be bigger pretzels. But I did bring my... Rummy Bear's Endurance Spoon out with me somewhere. I thought I did. Yeah, here it is. So we'll use this. I don't know. I guess that'll work. We'll break a couple pretzels in half and drop some tincture in there. I don't know. I guess that's... I could just... I mean, I... Yeah, I suppose I could just drop it all in my mouth there and then I can put however much tincture I want on there. Let's do it that way. A little bit different. So we won't use the spoon. <laughs> um, break them in half so they're a little easier to deal with. There we go. Now to tell you what we're dealing with today for spice, for super hot spice, Ace Moro's, what was this one again? Apocalypse Scorpion, I forgot. It's on my notes and on the bottle and I just had it fresh in my mind, but I still forgot it. Cause hey, it's me, Steve. <laughs> I forget things that are right in front of me, <laughs> and I'm cool with that. Um, I can laugh at it, and I try to learn from it. Let's eat these, and, and then I'm going to drop some Apocalypse Scorpion. It's quite evaporated too, but it st still has a really nice clarity to it. So let's get our burn on and see where this takes us. I'm just going just gonna to shovel them in my mouth. <laughs> Uh 
That is a hot tincture. It totally um, overshadowed the hot sauce flavor in the pretzel. I could still taste the pretzel, but I could taste that super hot pepper tincture. Not even pepper tincture, just super hot pepper. Okay, I think, I think we're good. Yeah, that's definitely hot though, wow. Definitely hot. Something like that. Oh yeah, I guess the timestamp's gonna be in that corner. We don't wanna block that. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't think we can get Maggie in on this thumbnail. Ooh, maybe. Maybe still, hey? It's kind of a weird thumbnail. <laughs> but that will probably be it. That'll probably be the thumbnail. I'll be honest with you, if I can ever sneak Maggie into the thumbnail, I'm going to go for it. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty cute. She's pretty awesome. So my heat, that probably got me up to a 6 out of 10, initially. It's already backed off. Probably back down to a 4 out of 10 now. I'm not going to talk about the fact that my forehead's sweating. I'm not going to step up to the camera and show it to you because that's weird right Dacone? that's weird why would i do that i wouldn't <laughs> okay i would and i did and i'll probably keep doing it too <laughs> i think it's hilarious and you you all you some of you clearly do too um so i'll talk a little bit about yesterday we got time we got a couple minutes yeah i didn't get this review done yesterday of course i had a rough afternoon uh, I had a really tough time getting a hold of my doctor. Finally, we did make contact, I don't know, around 3 p.m. or something like that. Um, I was hoping to be able to pick up my meds yesterday, but I wasn't able to. They weren't, um, I don't think they were filled in time. Actually, yeah, the pharmacy was supposed to call me back when they were filled, um, but they didn't. I guess they were busy, which, you know, that's understandable. Things happen unfortunate for me um, but it's okay I'm not out of meds I do still have meds um, just want, don't don't have these new ones to start last night um, I don't even know what they are yet <laughs> um, so yeah it was just a really stressful day um, dealing with all of that trying to get my meds and the fact that they're antidepressants and they're so stressful so hard to get secured, to get figured out. It's very disheartening. Um, I ended up, I got sick again last night. I, uh, I don't know if I told you this actually, but I've been getting sick out of nowhere. I'll get dizzy and I'll get s the sweats and then I will physically get sick out of nowhere. It'll happen out of nowhere. Sitting at the computer table, uh, the kitchen table, standing up at the kitchen, sitting on the couch. It can happen at any time basically. It's kind of scary, kind of uh, really annoying, but yeah, I ended up doing that last night and then napped on the floor for a couple hours, crawled into bed at around, I don't know, nine o'clock, slept till 8 a.m. this morning, altogether slept about 12 hours. I've just been so, so tired lately. Um, I just didn't want to fight it last night and uh, getting sick definitely definitely helped, or uh, didn't help, sorry, <laughs> helped to discourage me. Uh, today's a new day, feeling a, a lot better today, not feeling sick to my stomach, um, feeling off, definitely feeling off, but uh, had a chat with my mother on the phone a little while ago, which was nice, um, 
think Lady Shorts is going to pop by for a, a hangout and, a, and a, a chat. Come back here, Maggie. Come back here. Um, yeah, Lady Shorts has been awesome through all of this as well. I just got to say that again. There's, there's no bad blood between us. She's still one of my very best friends, honestly. And I plan to keep it that way. She's, she's a wonderful human being. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, today's a new day. I'm gonna have a better day today. It's about 10.30ish right now already. Just getting this video done and um, still a little bit chilly outside, but it does look like it's getting nice and sunny out there. So probably enjoy that at some point and hopefully get my new meds and get them all figured out because I think they should be re ready to be picked up. I really hope so. You're such a good girl, Maggie. She's hugging me right now. She's just pu pushing her forehead into my chest. That's how Maggie hugs. I really like it. It's very cute. Hey. Yeah. I'll give you a hug back. She's such a sweetie. Yeah. You're a good girl. So, I think we will wrap this video up here. Nothing really else to talk about. It's a long enough video now. This will probably be the only video today. I had it in my mind that I wanted to do t today's video as well as Wednesday's videos video. But, I don't think I will. I'll be honest with you. I like to be honest with you. I really do. Um, so yeah, I hope you all have an awesome day today. I love you all very much. I want to thank Tom again for a check-in this morning. He checked in on me again. I love you, buddy. You are awesome. You really, you really connect with me and yeah, I really appreciate you, buddy. I really appreciate all, all of you. I've had so much support and encouragement. It really means a lot to me. Um, and I want to actually, before I do my end screen shout outs, I want to do a shout out to Jackie at That Girl Jackie Vlogs. She's going through a lot these days too. And um, she's really inspired me, actually, to reach out for help. I want to say that on a video, that ja Jackie is a big part of the reason of why I felt the courage to check myself into the hospital. Um, I, I get a lot of inspiration and a lot of encouragement from her. And I even see that I've missed some messages from her this morning, so I'll have to get to those. Um, thank you very much, Jackie. Keep it up. You are awesome. You are strong. You are a wonderful human being, and we're all grateful to have you on our lives. So, in this corner, you'll see our Heat My Shorts logo. In this corner, you'll see that girl Jackie vlogs. Hop over to her channel. Um, she, she's really slowed down on the live streams these days, but great channel, great person. Check it out. Up here, some playlists for you to enjoy. Have a great day. I love you all. We'll hang out again soon, I promise. This has been Heat My Shorts with Maggie and Steve. The Maggie Show. Love you. Bye-bye.